What's going on everybody? Deacon here. Did you miss me last week? Some of you might have, some of you might not have. But the reason why I didn't make a video last week because I was studying for an exam that I needed to pass because I'm a system administrator and I'm working on my CCNA exam. So on Thursday morning, I took what was called the CSENT exam and I passed it. So to keep myself from freaking out about that whole thing, I just shut everything down. I was just studying and focusing solely on that. But all the studying and the work paid off, I passed the test, so now I can move forward. But what I want to talk about this week is those who have no shame and guilt tripping. You know those people who I'm talking about where it's like no matter what they do, they always try to find a way to get you to do something, but they have to make you feel bad in order to get you to do it. Now, while looking this up, guilt tripping is described as psychological manipulation or coercion. You know, you're always trying to find that one thing that you know somebody feels bad about or they might feel empathy or compassion about and you turn that and twist it, especially when you're talking about, come on, man, you know you got to do this. What do mom think? Oh, you got to look out for me on this one. You remember that time I helped you out back in the day? But my wife will tell you I'm one of the worst people to try to guilt trip because when you try to guilt trip me, Hey fam, let me borrow $40 until next week. Already? I gave you $40 last week. I know, but things got a little bit tighter, so I just needed an extra $40. You're not going to let me have it? No, I'm not giving you any more money. You owe me $100 right now. How you going to do me like that, fam? We supposed to be family. We supposed to be blood. What's blood got to do? Got to do with it? No. Until you give me my money back, I'm not giving you anything else. Besides, them J's weren't on your feet last week. Where you get the money to get those from? Oh, so you're not going to let me have it? All right, then. Be that way. I need your money anyway. Now, see, for me, I prefer that if you're going to ask for something, just be straight up about it. You don't have to try to guilt trip me into doing it or try to convince me to do something because if I'm already feeling compelled to do it, I'm going to do it. And that's what people have to understand who like to practice this and who like to guilt trip people. That the more and more you do it, all you're going to end up doing is leading up to resentment or avoidance altogether. Because there's been many a times where I've had to avoid people because I know whenever they called or they came around, it was always going to eventually lead to them wanting something. They never just came or called just to see how I was doing. And then if I didn't do it or said no, then they would try to find some angle or something to manipulate to try to guilt trip me into doing it. And I'm like, no, it doesn't work that way. And if you're one of those people who constantly find yourself falling victim to people who like to guilt trip you into doing things, just understand that it's okay to say no, especially if they're the only ones that are gonna benefit from it. Because what they have to understand is that if I'm gonna do this favor for you, let me do it out of the willingness of my heart not out of reluctance or out of guilt because if I don't do it, I'm gonna feel bad. But that's all I have for you guys this week. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Have you been one who likes to guilt trip people or have you been that person that it seems like people always wanna guilt trip you into doing something? Let me know. So if you liked the video, click the like button or if you haven't already, subscribe. And as always, be wise and until I see you guys next time,